I thought it would be fun to try to build a solar oven. I've been watching a couple of different videos and visiting websites on these, and they're, they're actually pretty cool if you design them and build them right. The way most people seem to build them is they just take two cardboard boxes and put some uh, insulation, usually rolled newspaper or crushed newspaper in between, uh, makes a reflector out of aluminum foil, and uh, heat up the inside. Another cheaper option is just to get like a... Uh, some folded aluminum panels or tin foil panels and put a black bowl inside a glass bowl and uh, you can heat something that way. Another option is using parabolic dishes, either a satellite dish or, or a parabolic uh, shape that uh, you can get a more of a point uh, heat source that, to do something like boiling water versus uh, the oven. You can certainly go out and buy units. This is a real popular one called the Sun Oven. It's a, it's well over $200, but it's a pretty popular design and uh, something to think about. <clears throat> I like this kind of an arrangement for the uh, for the reflectors. It's called the Heaven's Flame layout. It's just four panels that are kind of shaped like an upside down pyramid. So that's kind of the starting concept. So I uh, did a little bit of a layout uh, for my uh, different pieces for something that resembles the sun oven, a little bit, a little bit larger in shape, about 24 inches by 15. Cut out my pieces uh, using quarter-inch plywood. Tried to use as much stuff that I already had rather than go out and buy some things. Then screwed it together using some of the drywall screws went together in uh, just a couple of hours to get to this point. Making sure everything is nice and flush. Now I added some, uh, you can see on the right side here, these are some uh, cardboard pieces for the insulation. I built those up about an inch and a half deep all the way around the the sides and the bottom and the back and the front, so everything but the top. And when you get everything nice in there, it should be uh, pretty well insulated. And uh, then the next thing is to work on uh, the top frame. So I cut out a picture frame and bought, I bought some Lexan for the top, uh, what's called the collector. On the inside, for the galvanized metal, I just bought some. Uh, this is an oil pan, drip drip pan. I got it pretty cheap at Ace for thirteen dollars. You cut it; it cuts pretty pretty easy. You cut it to shape to fit into the uh, inside, and then I could screw the uh, screw each of the pieces to each other using uh, some Tech uh, quarter inch uh, self tapping aluminum screws. When I got all that done, I just, you had to uh, paint the inside, so just using some regular uh, like barbecue. Uh, grill uh, black flat black high temp paint go out there and get that cured that actually went on pretty easily and I got the uh, Lexan mounted to the top piece and then took it outside alright well I got the first part of the solar oven done uh, I'm gonna do a little temperature test here it's about starting about uh, 2.30 in the afternoon on October 22nd, I think, and to see how fast the temperature rises. Right now, we're at about uh, 65 degrees outside Fahrenheit. I'll put the uh, cooking pot in there, thermometer, and I'll put the uh, cover on it. Now this unit doesn't have the reflectors yet. I'm still waiting on the reflector material to arrive, but even these kind of black interior pan or black interior type ovens still are supposed to heat up pretty good. So let's see how it goes. All right, I just put the pot in there, put the uh, cover on. You can see I got it lined up with the sun, and uh, we'll see uh, how fast it heats up in there. I'll come back in a half an hour. 
Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Looks like how it's up to 100 and almost 150. Check back later.